everybody, I am Musky Light. Thank you for stopping by. Um, we've got a Q&A for June. I think there's quite a few questions um, that I've managed to, or that I've seen in the comments anyway. First of all, I just wanted to say absolutely thank you to everybody. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to my new subscribers. You always seem, you just, you always amaze me, all of you. Um, the last video I put out is one of, you know, when I, when I decide that I'm going to put one of my stranger videos out, <laughs> um, it actually takes me quite a few days usually to actually put it up because I will worry about it. I will sit there going, oh, this is too much for them. And this is, they'll just think I'm daft or skits or something completely crazy. And it does. I will worry about it before I put it up and I'll have, um, visions of i'll put it up and then the next morning all my subscribers have gone they've all disappeared and they've all gone Ooh, that was terrible um and you don't you amaze me every time because i do those i do those sort of things and i say i do it to document it for myself as well um and you're just all amazing and you will comment on it going i'm going through that too i've got synchronicities like that and it's just amazing to to read all the comments and and read the yeah we're not alone we're all going you know there's an awful lot of us that go through this and obviously we all go through it in our own unique way but we're still going through it and we're still having you know synchronicities and things happen to us which are beyond which are not coincidence which are completely they're just magic they're beyond anything um 3d that happens so thank you um it's it's really beautiful so all all of your comments that you i always i read every single one of your comments that you you put up every each and every single one of them as well as if you ever send me an email if i don't get back to you i'm sorry my email gets um bombarded every day but i read each and every single one of them so i and i send i send love and blessings and light out to each and every one of you that sends me a message um so please please don't ever be offended if i don't get back to you i have read it i have probably loved every word that you have written i have understood um it's just that sometimes i don't and especially now <laughs> i love all these subscribers i love getting new subscribers um but obviously from from i'm i'm getting busier and busier every day so it's getting a little bit more difficult for me to answer each and every every one of you but please don't stop because that doesn't mean that I don't look at them because I really really do so I'm going to try and go through um, the, the comments I'm just going to shout out some names as I'm going through them and as I come to a question um, I will answer it the first thing I do want to answer though because I know it was from last month and I might not come across it again, but I know it's about water and the water supply and not drinking tap water. Um, and that's quite an important subject to, to, to cover. Um, yeah, please, please, please don't drink the tap water. Most of you already know this. Um, but for those of you who don't, fluoride, they put fluoride in the water. They put fluoride in a lot of food nowadays as well. It's very, very dangerous. It's a toxic um, it's toxic to our bodies our body rejects it it doesn't like it it doesn't know what to do with it um, so what happens when fluoride enters our bodies is it literally goes to a dumping ground and that dumping ground happens to be our pineal gland which is our third eye and the fluoride is sent by our bodies to our pineal gland <clears throat> and it literally encases the pineal gland in with fluoride and this fluoride as well it crystallizes it goes hard as it collects so we end up with this big white hard lump encasing which is encased over our pineal gland which is when we're trying to awaken and we're trying to get our third eye going we have to cut out the water out of the tap we have to eliminate the fluoride as much as we can from our bodies also when you're brushing your teeth as well um now, I don't use a fluoride toothpaste. I haven't done for over a year now. I actually use a smoker's powder um, toothpaste because it's got no fluoride in it. Um, and that's what I will use to, to clean my teeth. 
and my teeth are just as clean as anybody else's we don't need fluoride in toothpaste again it's I, th I, I sort of have the feeling that they know how dangerous fluoride is they know what it can do to us and it knows that it basically keeps us asleep so that's why they put it in because it's of no real real benefit to anybody uh, no matter what statistics they put out no matter what medical facts apparently they put out it's not um, they started putting it in the water supply back in the concentration camps in Germany um, during during the world wars so and that was to keep them more under control so then you can start to see the direction that they go in and as to why they put it in fluoride can also make your teeth brown fluoride also can collect between your teeth and that's the, the crap it's not just tartar that they're scraping off when you go to a dentist it's fluoride as well um, which is which is great for dentists they they earn a lot of money doing that but there again, so I don't personally, fluoride is just please don't drink tap water, <laughs> don't do it, um, especially if you're on an awakening journey. Um, it's something that you will come to learn anyway, it's something that you'll become aware of and you'll be like, no, not touching it. Um, if you want, so it's bottled water and what you need to do when you look at bottled water, we need to have a pH balance, um, which is a seven or above. So when you get bottled water, make sure the pH balance, which should be listed on this, if it's not listed, don't buy it. If it's listed on the side, it should be of a seven or above. Anything below that, it's not good. The pH balance is the amount of acidity and alkaline, which is within the water, and that needs to be of equal or very um, low quality um, quantities. It needs to be as balanced as possible. So anything seven and above is good anything seven and below um is not 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 good at all the lower it is the more acidic the water is okay if you um decide to drink water out of the tap we need you need to get um a filtration system fitted now there are loads of filtration systems out there i could not tell you i will type it into to google um just as an example because there's loads of them but this will be a filtration system that can be fitted up to the tap um, underneath the sink and everything that will filter out the fluoride um, so if I put in into Google um, USA tap filtration system it will come up with I would imagine just loads this one i've heard of osmio osmio water and this is uk as well actually and eu um it's os i don't know if it's osmosis it's osmio this one's osmio though um but this will make your tap water safe to drink plus it gets rid of all the other impurities that are in there there's obviously it comes from um the system is coming through pipes to come out your tap so you're obviously picking up stuff that the inside of the the pipes the lead all the other stuff that is within that water gets caught into the water comes out the tap and then we're putting it into our bodies so that's really important um so that was the first one that i wanted to get out of the way but it's just it's just like it, you it's like shooting your pineal gland dead with this and i think um, what was I going to say then? I think my pineal gland's blocked today. Um, once you get to the point where you're awakening in that and you want to start to clear it, you will know at that point. But I don't know how long it takes to clear. I suppose it takes a different amount of, of time for different people. Um, but definitely, if you can stop drinking tap water that goes a long way and stop brushing with fluoride toothpaste use um, a smoker's uh, a powder toothpaste even if you don't smoke um, because that'll make your teeth white as well and um, or use a natural toothpaste that doesn't have fluoride in it okay so that's that one out of the way <laughs> it's quite an important one as well so again thank you for everybody who's commented on the videos um, that's really really good mandy t 
um, you say you get these synchronicities all the time. What does this mean? Um, does that mean you're connected to angles? Yay! <laughs> I think you mean angels. Um, I'm going to take these glasses off because I know it's reflecting in the <clears throat> the camera. Um, yes, it means you're on the awakening process. You're awakening. Uh, you are definitely connected. Um, as long as there's no little voice telling you to murder anybody, uh, you're connected to your guides, your angels, uh, maybe um, family or friends who have passed over. They could be your guides as well. Um, we can even have ET guides as well, um, depending on on what sort of awakening you're having or who has been brought in to mentor you, really. Um, obviously, as a twin flame, I've, I've got guides and angels and also um, sort of other Blu-ray entities that are out there that are helping me. Though don't ask me what their names are because I wouldn't be able to tell you. Um, I think my main guide, I think I'm, I'm going to decide to call him Bob or her Bob because it might be easier in future. <laughs> so yes, when you're seeing the synchronicities all the time and sometimes it takes a while as I said, we go through intense energies and waves of energy coming through, which makes us very, very aware of the synchronicities. And we go through these downloads or intense periods, just like the video I did of just, we've just seen it all the time and it gets overwhelming. And then there's other times where it is a little bit quieter. Um, and I'm going to go into that disconnection as well uh, with our guides and angels. When I find, when I get down to the, the question, because someone actually answered it, really well so i'm going to go through that um tam tam's pisces son just wanted to ask where i can find the forum that you mentioned okay i've got um a free forum it's a free help forum just for you all to get together all the details are below um the link for the forum for the husky light forum it's below every video now that i do very easy to find if you just go into the information underneath the video it's really easy to find for those of you who haven't joined the the forum please go and do so sometimes it's very quiet and there's not much going on in there i don't get a lot of time to go in there um there are a couple of videos that i've put in that i felt at the time that i didn't want to put out on youtube there were far more far more personal and i think i was talking about things that i didn't didn't want to get strikes for on YouTube or anything, so they went onto the forum. Um, but yeah, go and check it out. Even if it's quiet, um, there is a section on there where you can just introduce yourself um, and say where you're from in the world. I want people to connect up. That's the whole reason for the forum, is for people to connect up, for people to be able to look within there especially at the section of where you're from and go oh that person lives near me that person's in the same town the same city as me you know and we can i can i can keep you all up to date i can put the odd video in there um again that i won't that i won't put on youtube and it's no good coming back to me and saying you should be allowed to say anything you say and you should be able to come on youtube and and say it well sometimes i just don't sometimes i don't want to strike i have seen so many other youtube um channels and that and they get into trouble and once they start watching you um you start getting strikes for all sorts of things for for saying something out of turn for not not complying to the normal of of everybody else um so i don't and that's 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 just the way i feel and and i mean there's not many videos up on the forum but occasionally i will go and put something up but the main reason is to go on there and if you you know if I can't answer a question, go on there and put your question on there. So hopefully somebody will answer it who is already awakened. And it's a way, it's, it's a community. It's a way of coming together. Um, and if anything, you know, as changes go on in the world, as we move up from third to fourth to fifth, um, it's, it's not going, it's not always going to be easy. We are going to have to go through challenges to get there. We're going to have to go through challenges to ascend. It's not just going to be some bright, breezy um, road ahead of us. That, and we wake up one morning and everything's perfect and it's peace and there's no war and everything. We've got so many things that we need to go through to get to that point. But we are beginning to see the changes happening um, 
you know and we are i, I am pretty sure that we are going to go through some sort of revolution at some point whether whether this is a peaceful revolution or whether it's it's not so peaceful i don't know we're going to all try and and get through it as peacefully as possible but there are certain things i think in this world that need to happen in order for us to ascend for this world to to change um so the forum is just one of my little ways <clears throat> of trying to get everybody together because if anything and i'm not fear-mongering or anything else but if there comes a time <clears throat> when you need somebody else who's awakened um who you can talk to go on the forum and do it if you need to get in touch with somebody who is in your city in your town it's all about connecting up it's all about community <clears throat> excuse me so all the information for that is below so please all of you just just go join up um francis clark if you're crazy then so am i thank you very much <laughs> um that's good to know all right so many freaky things happened that the the days of intense energies that i put up and wow I've got well over a thousand views on that. I've got well over a thousand views on my weekly Power Angel cards as well. And that usually takes me about a week to get usually. And I had over a thousand within two days, I think, this week. So again, you're all bloody amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Um, absolutely. Thank you so much. So um, yeah, a lot of you that were putting comments on the Days of Intense Energy and commenting you were actually getting triggered by the things that i'd said in the video um which was really really crazy as well and um lily 9779 you said that you've been going through the same something really freaky happened to you the morning you'd watched the video earlier um as you hadn't been feeling too much guidance and had recently asked your guides and angels to be really obvious for a really obvious synchronicity one that would be completely undeniable and as you were desperate to feel that confirmation again you got in the car and five minutes later the song on the radio was must have been talking to an angel in brackets she's got not sure if that's an actual song title but i'm sure you know which one i mean yeah it's um it's english <laughs> that's why i know it's the eurythmics annie lennox um I think it's called an orchestra of angels um, but I know but that gave you goosebumps so again for some of you you watched the video and, and that seemed to set off a chain of, of synchronicities for yourselves as well so I'm starting to think actually that we d we do very much once we're all connected especially the people that I'm directly involved with subscribers that I do you know I've either done a reading for or I'm doing the healing and sick healing and clearing sessions with on skype so we're face to face um we seem to be bouncing off each other i'll have a, you know i've had a synchronicity and i'll say something and they go and have it and it relates back again um and it's all and it's very very strong and i think as as we go through this ascension i think it's just all going to keep getting stronger it's all going to just keep getting stronger and and that's a really good good thing um Thank you to Cheryl Thomas, Lucy Brown, um, somebody who's just a number. I'm sure you're not just a number. 9820976. Um, thank you very much. Um, right, Lucy Brown, you've been seeing the number 39 absolutely everywhere. And you can't for the life of you figure out what it means. Right, I mentioned um, if I don't know what a number is, if it's not a 2 2 or a 3 3 or a 5 5 5. <clears throat> something like 1111 11, something that i don't know um if it's an odd number like 39 or something i will go and look it up on angel scribes angel scribes numbers is my absolute bible so i will actually look up <laughs> for you what this means um and see if it makes any any sense to you and if you've been seeing it for ages um we'll see what What number are we on? 39, wasn't it? Come on. Um, 
I'm not going to read the whole thing out because it's quite long, but Angel 39 is a message regarding your divine life purpose and soul mission. You are being fully supported by your angels and ascended masters as you pursue your special interests and career choices. If you're considering beginning or expanding your spiritual practice, career or profession, now is a suitable time to take on this endeavour. Use your natural light working abilities and talents and living your life as a positive example to others are important aspects of your soul mission. When feeling the need for concise help or direction, you're encouraged to continue to live your personal truths as a spiritual being and remember that your thoughts create your experience, so maintain a positive attitude and outlook. Angel 39 is also a message from your angels for you to let go of any issues or situations that are no longer positively serving you in your life. Have no fear of lack or loss and trust that better is coming your way. So that is a really beautiful angel number for you to to keep seeing um so lucy i hope that that makes sense to you um but again it is joanne scribes s-c-r-i-b-e-s -E angel numbers look that up on on google or on the internet and um she's got just every number you can think of and every combination of numbers that you can think of as well um so that's where i always go charlie Curlin brought me to tears somehow thanks for the reading that was the weekly power angel cards i must have triggered something in you charlie and i'm really sorry i hope you i, I, I did write below, below the comment i hope you have a fantastic week um and maybe it's good that i triggered something maybe it was something that needed to come up for healing and that's why it triggered and and you had a few tears over it angie golden uh the volume was so low it was difficult to follow i'm very sorry about that i've got quite a good microphone now so I'm not sure what the the problem with that was, and I'm pretty sure it's yeah, it's it's turned up as well. In fact, it's turned up right. <laughs> I've blasted everyone now, haven't I? Um, Tash Thomas, thank you for commenting on the butterflies for the Pisces mid June reading because I kept seeing butterflies and I had to mention it. Um, and you've got synchronicity with that as well. So many positive, positive messages. Um, it's amazing. Um, Sue Thompson, I've just explained where to find the angel numbers information. So that one's done. Well, thank you. Um, Fem 33, this is what I wanted to to mention because you actually answered what I was going to say. <laughs> when we have a disconnection from our guides and angels, which doesn't happen very often, I think it's happened twice now to me, and I, I mentioned it in the other video, I felt completely empty. I just felt they're not around me, I can't feel them, blah de blah And this is what happens, I think. we. Our brains need a break. Maybe our, even our soul needs a little bit of a break. Our body needs a break from the synchronicities, from the downloads, from the information that we get, from the, the insights of new information that we have to integrate within ourselves. As we're awakening, we learn more and more, especially those of us who research, which you all should be doing. You should be going to where you're guided um, and researching things and learning out learning about what is your truth during this awakening and we never stop awakening because every time you get to a point where you think do you know what i think i've learned just about everything i could learn now i think i i, I know all about politics i know all about quantum physics i know this i know that no you haven't got a clue it's like the tip of the iceberg and then it starts again but there are times when we just need um our bodies and our heads our souls need a little break from that and it's like as, as fem 33 says it's the calm before the download storm so i had a quiet few days um and then a couple of weeks later yeah um going back to my other video i just it just started and that was it and it kept going and it didn't stop and it's still going on now it's going on to a lesser degree and the past three days since i made the video i have deliberately <laughs> not watched as much YouTube, not really gone out, not done as much as I usually do, 
just to try and give myself some some quiet as well because it was getting very um but they they haven't stopped they're still going on um my my daughter made cupcakes last night turn on youtube this morning there's a cupcake on on the as a picture on the front of something you just want to associate with it i think it was on the event is coming or event is coming picture of a cupcake nipped out to the shop um and yes it was a bakery that i went to um but they put a new book um of wedding cakes and pictures and everything on the front on the desk and it just happened to be open on the one that was a big picture full of cupcakes so i was like oh there we go cupcakes everywhere as I say, a lot of these synchronicities are completely meaningless. You know, Bruce Willis is not going to knock at my door any day. And 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 just to warn you, if he ever did, you would never see him again because I would keep him here. He'd never make any films again. That would be it. He'd be lost forever. I'd kidnap him. But so a lot of them are just pretty meaningless. But again, they are they're not meaningless in the fact that, that your guides and angels are saying we're with you. We're guiding you you're here, you're in direct connection with us, you're on the right path. I think a lot of these synchronicities are just sort of there to show you that you're going in the right direction, you're on the right path and um, in whatever you do from day to today. So when we have a break from it, do not worry, do not panic. It's <laughs> Take it as a break, get as much rest as you can because rest assured, a little bit later, you're just gonna get a download storm as BEM 33 um, puts it, it's a breather for us, that's all, um, before we, before the integration period of what, of what we have to learn. Um, now I was talking with a, my friend in, in Canada over the email a couple of days ago and we were discussing the, the synchronicities and everything, we were trying to figure out, well how does it work, why does it happen? Um, and we are just connected, but at the same time, I mean, I had a little download of my own, really. And I went, oh, I think I've got it, but this is not the answer to all of it at all. This is probably maybe the answer to just the small, the meaningless synchronicities that you see, not the numbers or anything, that's different. But the ones where you will, um, like mine, talk about Bruce Willis and then he's suddenly on, he's on the TV or cupcakes and your higher selves, your guide, your angels and everything, they are from a much higher perspective. They're up in 5D, 6D, wherever, the the other side of the veil. They're looking down on us. They can see the peripheral. peripheral. They can see a much wider picture. Time and space does not exist for them up there as well, like time exists down here for us, which we know is all an illusion, but it definitely doesn't exist for them. So what I think happens with these so-called meaningless synchronicities that we see, apart from it lets us know that we're in connection with them and we're safe and we're protected and they're there and they're watching us, they can see a little bit further ahead in time than we can. So the night that I spoke about Bruce Willis and then all the other synchronicities, they already knew that that Bruce Willis film was going to come on. They already knew that I was going to see um tom cruise and and paul whatever his name is um uh, simon Pegg together the next morning in, in a video after speaking about them so i think what they do to a certain extent they they can already see this and and see what's going to happen because they're ahead in time they relay that re information subconsciously back through to me through my third eye through my pineal gland and then through my third eye I will speak about it and then it so that it then reproduces I then catch up with the time that they saw it and there it is and then we can turn around and go oh we just spoke about that we've just seen that but I think because they can see further in us they're just relaying that information back to us subconsciously subconsciously because we don't know it's been said to us about Bruce Willis or whoever or whatever we then bring it up in conversation or we will see it or think of it. We'll have that little thought in our head. And then when we catch up with, to their time and they're already way ahead again, when we catch up to their bit, there we go. We see it and that's it. And that's your synchronicities. I think that's how it works. They've, they've sort of told me that's how it works with that. 
but with the numbers i don't know about that just that we're connected and then there will be other synchronicities that do have a lot of meaning to them you know um especially if you ask directly to your guides and angels for help for a question or or for help please help me with this please help me with that um and then something appears that's that's different that's that's direct a direct answer from them i think the, the meaningless synchronicities that we see which again are not bloody meaningless at all because they make us feel so connected and so loved when it happens they're relaying that information they've, they've already seen it in the future they just relay it back to us we pick it up subconsciously and then we catch up with them and we see it and we go whoo cool <laughs> i think that's how that part of it it works so um whew. Yes, there are a lot of intense energies and it always seems to be this time of year. There are, well, different parts of the year, but looking back at last year and looking back at the year before, around the summertime, there is a lot of intense energies and wave energies coming through, especially around the solstice. Discuss this in, in the weekly Power Angel cards. It just, everything ups at this time of year. Everything ups, um, September, I think, as well. Ups and around Christmas I've always <clears throat> so far I've found January February time quite calm certainly compared to summer anyway but I think you know in a lot of places the sun is shining more we've got these waves of energy coming in which are helping us to awaken more and more and pe people are awakening around the world which triggers everybody else off um we're getting these downloads we're getting these upgrades we're getting dna upgrades whether we know about it or not it's a help us ascend um this is all coming from the sun we're getting light energies through we're getting all sorts through um and i think especially during the it seems during the summer months um especially in the western world it seems to happen like that it might be different in australia actually i don't know you have to let me know if you're in australia whether you're energies are stronger um sort of during our winter months which would be your summer um but i th think i've sort of got a handle on that <laughs> thank you so and obviously obviously too um with me being a twin flame with me continually going through the awakening process as well I'm not just reading cards so there are times when like I said with the the mid-June I just I had personal things I had all these synchronicities and these these times when when those energies get too much for me I can't actually I can't do anything I can't work um it gets very heavy it gets very sometimes if there's bad energies around it will get very heavy it's like wading through treacle other times it's just overwhelming and it's like I can't get my head around doing a reading or around mid-June and, and that especially this month um so there are different reasons for it um I did have personal as well this month but again you're just all amazing and wonderful um always try to always try anyone who does put um I, I do not get very many at all negative comments on my videos but something I'd ask you to remember is you know if I've if I've done a reading and it doesn't resonate with you for that month please don't don't come on and sort of say well that was crap and it didn't work and I haven't had a job and I haven't got a boyfriend and it doesn't work for me and I'm depressed and things like that other people are reading your comments as well and I want this to be a positive channel and I want everyone to stay positive. So if people are reading the positive comments and, you know, it lifts them up as well. You know, every, every thought, every action has a reaction to it. Um, so just think about that if, if you ever get, and that goes for any channel you're watching, any, um, obviously get on and speak the truth if you're, you're feeling passionate about something um 
but don't sort of come on and, and sort of whinge about a certain situation because sometimes other people are reading and you could bring them down as well. This is a positive channel. But I don't get them very often. But if I ever did, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, just remember that other people read the comments as well. Um, and you will always have an effect on somebody else if they're reading the comments as well for them. It's It's not... Once you put that comment up, it's not just about you. It's about what effect you have on people around you as well. Um, whew, where are we up to? You start, um, Osetka Akua Imhotep. <laughs> Hope I said that right. You started seeing 11-11 a week before the Orlando shooting. Um, you went to visit and it happens a couple of days after you left and that was awful and there's been so many awful things but remember that when the positive energies and the synchronicities and the 11 11s ramp up for us it also means that the dark side of things they also ramp up at the same time yeah black magic sacrifices doing whatever they do their spells their programming their mk ultra whatever it is they ramp it up as well CERN, <laughs> don't know what's going on there. Um, they ramp their energies up as well because we're literally all um, the energy that we feel is neutral, so it's how we use that energy that comes in that makes it good or bad for us. So, if the energy is coming in and you are being negative and you are depressed and you're thinking that everything's going to go wrong and nothing, then it will. That's what's going to happen. If we're thinking positive, then positive things will happen and we will be a lot more at peace. Um, whichever way it goes, these energy waves that come in, they don't care whether you're happy or sad. They're there to wake you up. That's it. They just want to wake you up. What you, How you use the energy is the important thing that comes in. So obviously the darker side of things, Isis, Cabal, whatever they're called, Illuminati, they also know about the, the times of year when it's stronger, the planetary acid. They know everything that we know because they stole it all off us. <laughs> um, they know it all as well. So they're going to use it for their, for their wicked ways, whereas we're using it for good. So always remember that when it ramps up for us, it's ramp they're ramping it up as well. So we have to be at a certain level to avoid and not get sucked into the darker side of things, which is why we don't watch telly, we don't watch the news, we don't try and get sucked into the... Uh, the emotion and the fear mongering that they put out there because that brings the vibration back down again and once we get to a certain vibration it doesn't bother us anymore because they can only rise up so much being bad and then they stop and then they can't affect us because we've gone like that and we've come above them yeah so they're not going to ascend in the way that that we are but they can still use those energies so, where are we up to? Desiree, bless you, my Virgo June. I said somebody had sprained their ankle or broken their leg or something and, and you sprained your foot. Um, Isaiah Wiltsey, congratulations, you quit your job. <laughs> um, I like being able to connect with the patients, but housekeeping at the hospital had been draining you. You've been trying to pursue your own business for a long time, but never have because everyone expects you to work a full-time job for the rest of your life and never follow your dreams. So I'm going to put a little like there because you are now hopefully following your dreams and going for that business um, and going for that business on your own. And good luck with that. I hope it really works out for you. Um, Doopy doopy doo. Anna, I have missed your comments somewhere and I so wanted to. I think it was Anna. I can't remember the second name, but anyway, somebody who had who had watched um the last video that I did. She said she said, My name's Anna and I'm sat watching sat watching your video with my guinea pig called Bruce um, and I didn't know which was the funniest the fact that your guinea pig was watching my video 
or the fact that you'd called your, your guinea pig Bruce. But I had to mention you because I just thought that was absolutely ace. It was really, really good. Um, how long have I been on? I should have warned you all to get a cuppa before you started, shouldn't I? <laughs> um, Jen Rinaldi, I wanted to, I, I really wanted to, God, that was three weeks ago. See how busy I get with things. Um, you were due a baby a week ago. Congratulations. I hope you're doing really, really well. I love you loads. Um, and you, you had a baby boy on the way and I'm sure you've had your baby boy by now, I would imagine. Let me know how it's going, please. So... I needed to mention that one. So I think that's it for the moment. Um, it is. I don't. I'm not going to keep you on if you're. If there isn't any, any more. Yeah, I'm just. I can't actually see. It's it. It's just page after page of of sort of wonderful comments and everything. Um, and I'm going. I'm going back quite a while now. So going back a month ago so a lot of you still watching the sliders videos which are that I put out which is really really good um, Jerry Bishop um, I put a comment on the sliders saying I am in this world but not of this world and I need to contact somebody with this ability again go on the forum um, I would imagine you will find somebody who also has that ability on the forum so right i'll get this uploaded namaste blessings and light i love you loads if you've got questions put them down um below um i will hopefully pick them all up hopefully i've picked all the ones up well i've certainly picked them all up for the last month or so so um take care of yourselves and i'll speak to you soon bye